What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are checking out some world downloads for Minecraft. Now the great thing about Minecraft is you can build whatever you want in your world, but you can also download other worlds which can range from anything like this right here, a cool very uh, Greek city that we've got here. It's got some different architecture, some statues, some really cool details down in the city. And you can also download things like adventure maps or parkour maps. And that's all that we're gonna check out today. So first up, we are checking out the Greek city. And if you wanna download any of these, all the links to these maps will be down in the description below. This Greek city is beautiful. And it's got, of course, a boat out front here. And as we move into these buildings, you can see how kind of close, compact they are. There are some interiors in most of these buildings. They are very small because they are very small buildings, but once you get to some of the larger buildings like the lighthouse or the church and stuff, then you'll definitely find some more open spaces with some cool architecture in there as well. This would definitely be a great map to download if you're trying to do uh, some, tor some type of small adventure map, maybe with some friends, or if you just want to explore the city, get some build ideas for something that you're trying to build yourself, this would be great as well. Uh, it's definitely a very cool city. You can see all the different patterns, details, uh, variations in kind of these buildings, and there's different little caves, statues, things, so a lot of different build inspiration ideas that you can gain from kind of touring around this city and seeing everything that's been built here. Next up, we have Mods Trials. Now, Mods Trials uh, has to be one of the most furiating things that I've ever downloaded on Minecraft, and that is because it is a ridiculously hard parkour. And now I'm not gonna show myself doing any of these because they are very hard, but they are all possible, and if you're good at Minecraft parkour and you're wanting to try out some other maps, uh, especially some very hard maps, then this is definitely the map for you to download. And I swear that I did make that jump eventually, but here you can see all the different uh, rooms for you to try out. Each of them consists of basically five different jumps, and they are all uh, different variations, different types of jumps. Uh, here you can see that there's a lot of roofs, so you're definitely going to have to watch your head when you're making these jumps. These are very difficult, and if you're into parkour, it's definitely going to be a tough trial for you. Some of them are timed with pistons, others like this one here are with slime blocks, so definitely a lot of very cool options throughout this whole area. Next up, if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, then this is a very cool map for you. This is the Defense of Helm's Deep. Now, Helm's Deep is of course a very popular uh, siege kind of in the Lord of the Rings where the orcs are attacking, uh, but this gives you a chance to actually defend the wall against that army of orcs. Now there's some resource pack stuff that you have to go through just at the front, but basically everything downloads with the map itself, so you don't have to go in, add any of the data packs, resource packs, anything, it's all there for you. Uh, they also have some links to the creators, YouTube, Discord, and their planet Minecraft. Uh, and I don't have the music on in here just because it was copyright music and unfortunately I forgot to actually turn it off. But here you can see this is the kind of lobby area where you can defend Helm's Deep, get all the rules and everything like that before going into it. After going through the shop, you'll be able to teleport out to the wall and there's different portions of the wall. You can go to uh, the front gate or the actual wall where you can shoot arrows down at the orcs or even uh, cut them down as they come up the ladders. I did a small little playthrough of this and it's honestly a lot of fun. There's different waves and you can go back to the shop after each wave and buy different things. I chose to go with an archer class to start off here and you can see here, these are not all active mobs out there, but the mobs will spawn from that group and run in, which I think is a really cool design for that. You can also kind of see behind the wall, see the different areas that have been built here. This is a very cool looking map and also a lot of fun to play. So definitely give it a try. Um, it's a lot of fun. You can pick the different amount of enemies and everything that can spawn. So if you're on a system that you know isn't gonna do the frame rate that a better PC or laptop can do, then this is definitely a great option for you because you can turn down all those settings and do something that your computer is actually able to handle. Next up, and a lot of you probably already know this or know where to find it, but 
It has become increasingly popular recently, so I wanted to feature it here. This is One Block, and a lot of you guys have probably seen this in other series. I know people like uh, Mythical Sausage are currently doing a One Block series, uh, but this is a very popular map, and the link for it is down in the description below. One Block is a lot of fun. It basically consists of one entire block right in the middle of your island that's going to consistently spawn uh, dirt, leaves, and then consistently better blocks throughout it. You'll find cobblestone and everything from that one block in the center, and then that's what you have to build the sky island out of. And this is basically uh, kind of an alternate sky island. Uh, if you ever played the original sky island, this is uh, kind of an advanced version of that where you're mining everything from this single block. But I think it's a lot of fun. It's definitely a fun Minecraft challenge trying to see what all you can build just from this one block. And you'll even get some villagers and things spawning on your island so that you can make trades and get better things. And all of those villagers are custom set for this one block setting. So all the trades will be things you can get from this one block to get better things like some iron ore, some coal, or everything else in this game. Now I won't show too much of this because it is just one block where I'm very early on not doing too much and you guys have probably seen in other series. If you haven't though, definitely search up one block and go check out somebody playing it. It's a lot of fun and you can really do some cool stuff in this game. But the link for this and all the other worlds that I featured today will be down in the description below so you guys can check it out for yourself. Last but definitely not least today, we have a very cool city and we are looking at the village in the Hidden Leaf. This is the Hidden Leaf village from Naruto and you may recognize it especially once I fly up here and see this whole thing. They've custom built the forest outside and there is even some other locations that are in the Naruto universe. But you can see this is the entire city. There is the arena uh, from like the first arc of Naruto and then there's some uh, other really notable locations like uh, the Hokage wall in the back there, uh, the river going through the city. So there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can find throughout this whole thing. And even if you're not a fan of Naruto, maybe you just want some build inspiration from this area and there's definitely a lot of that. Unfortunately, and don't worry too much about this, my render distance was set way too high. But once I brought that down, the city loaded a lot better. You can fly all through here, check out the different parts of the map, and of course, as I said, there are other locations that are in the series as well that you can find in this world. Uh, but it's definitely really cool to explore, kind of get a first person view of all this. And it's massive as well. You can see that even uh, just the other side of this city is already getting fogged, so it's definitely a lot to explore if you're just walking around or if you want to fly through this. And if you go outside of the city and explore, you can find some other locations and maybe even some secret tunnels. I happened upon one uh, that was actually a little parkour area, so if you want to try some more parkour than the mods trials that I featured earlier, then you can check out this map as well and try that one out. Anyways guys, that is all the time that I have for today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. Also, as I've already said, the links to all these maps are down in the description below, so check those out if you want to download them. Uh, they're basically all on CurseForge this time, uh, which is where you can get a lot of different Minecraft mods and things like that. So, definitely check that out. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.